Escanderus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Alright, so let's move. Now I want to go in here because, uh... We got some troop. Stasis field? Bastille's got stasis field now? That'll be her, because I don't have it. <laughs> Alright, so that's this room taken care of. Now let's go over here. Here, there's a, a group of Dark Jedi once again. Alright, and we'll search these lockers. I'm not even scrolling through when there's a scroll down button because, uh, Trying to get through here as quick as possible, because we don't have time. But I also want to collect everything I can, because once we leave the Leviathan, it's just going to be drifting in space, but we'll never come back to it. Okay, let's take out all these guys. That's this room clear. Again, I don't have time to scroll through the whole list, but I want to collect everything because I'm not coming back here. Out of my way. To be clear, the game doesn't actually have a time limit on this on this section. You can take as long as you want, but I'm just trying to go fast because, uh, you know. Alright, now. For reasons you'll understand. Later. I'm removing Bastila's equipment. Ready? Yes? Force can do terrible things to a mind. 
can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? simply kill me the Jedi are fools they do not believe in executing prisoners originally I assumed you had died in the battle imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive Revan do you mean I'm really your master once I served you Revan but I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When that Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. Bastila, this is true? It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. Then why don't I remember being Revan? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. I understand, Vastila. You had no other choice. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. 
Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Your power is no match for the light. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice as it was meant to be. Alright. So, we learned quite a lot in that flashback and that whatever you call it. For one thing, all this time we've been playing as Revan. And it's also true if you choose to play as a female. But, knowing that now, I can reveal that that was the reason why I chose the name Afner Dimarath. Was so that I could use that animation I played during the um, big reveal. I got the idea, obviously, from Harry Potter. But, as you just saw, we had to come in con uh, come into conflict with Darth Malak there. And once you get about a third of the way through his health, he puts you in a whirlwind and, and runs through this door, which is locked. What you have to do is run all the way around to the other side. Try to head him off. Once again, there's no time limit. He'll, for some reasons, stay where he is. But you have to attack him again. Shit. So as I was saying, I believe, um, you have to, uh, head him off on the other side, and, um, keep fighting. The fight continues. But, this is still a Leviathan, so, um, work smarter, not harder, still applies. So I saved him before I fought him this time. Once you get past him, he puts you under force. This isn't Stasis. Over, Malak. Your friends this do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. What about Bastila? We have to help her. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on. <sighs> so unfortunately, we just lost Bastila. Even more unfortunately, she doesn't come back. So we're gonna have to uh, get used to her not being around. And that's why I went over the entire crew when I did, was cause uh, we weren't gonna have all nine of them for long. So after all that, we're able to fly out of the Leviathan and uh, naturally, we're escaping from the uh, Sith Armada's flagship. We're going to be pursued as we try to escape. Wouldn't make sense if we didn't. So we have to take out six of these bastards as usual. That's th yeah, that's three. That makes four. Five. And six. It's the quickest I've done. 
done it in this playthrough. With that, we've made it past the Leviathan. Escaped, we've killed the Sith Admiral, and we've escaped from Darth Malak's clutches. With Bastila being, fortunately, the only casualty. I'm sad that we lost her, but it could have been a lot worse. Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Bah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. We have to go back for Bastila! Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? I don't care what Malak said. I'm not Darth Revan. After Dimarath, which naturally is an anagram of I am Darth Revan, but I digress. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan. And Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... This is big. Do you... Do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Small bits. A few strange dreams and visions. That's all. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. But I'm not the Dark Lord anymore. I'm Avner Dimarath. I'm one of you. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malak's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. I agree with the mission. I swore a life debt to the person you are, not to the person you were. Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak <laughs> who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What about you, Jolie? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. What do you think, Candorous? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. <laughs> what do you have to say, HK-47? Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Everyone be careful. There's no telling what this means. Observation. That is unnecessary, Master. My intent is not hostile. I am receiving no combat override commands. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols. That which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. Yeah, so remember what I said about being able to uh, work on HK using your repair skill to upgrade his stats? Once you get to this point, you can't do that anymore, so make sure that whatever upgrades you give him you give them to him before you do this. You mean 
Revan? Affirmation. Correct, Master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. So, why didn't this happen when I met him on Tatooine? Because just because I didn't know I was Revan doesn't mean that I wasn't Revan. Amnesia doesn't change who you are. Like, amnesia, amnesia doesn't change who you physically are, I should say. Uh, his his uh, homing system should have recognized Revan physically, even if Revan didn't know. Anyway. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. You won't abandon me, will you, T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, Karth, will you stand with me against Malak? Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I won't let you down, Karth. I promise. I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. You have to try. For Bastila's sake. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments, or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so... Let's do it before it's too late. Alright. to be in some sort of temple, maybe, or a tomb. I was the one to say it because Basil is not here to talk it over anymore. Anyway, here is the last world that we have to visit. Looking for a star, fo uh, star map. And, uh, I just want to pop in here to show you that, um, just as Admiral Kareth said, Dantooine has been destroyed. And it shows on here because even though the planet still shows up at the top of the map there, you cannot select it. You cannot go back there. It is gone. So the only option we have left anymore is to press forward. So next time on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, we are going to press forward. We are not going to let Bastila's sacrifice be in vain. We are going to find that last star map. We are going to find the Star Forge. See you guys then.